Have you ever wondered how plants defend themselves against pathogens? Plants, much like us humans, have a complex defense mechanism that helps them fend off various diseases. One such mechanism is Systemic Acquired Resistance, or SAR. Today, we will delve into the fascinating world of plant immunology and explore the key features of this remarkable defense strategy. Systemic Acquired Resistance is an enhanced defense mechanism that kicks into gear when a plant encounters certain pathogens or stress conditions. Think of it as a plant's immune response, ready to defend against a wide array of enemies, be they bacteria, viruses, or fungi. One of the most intriguing features of SAR is its inducibility. When a plant recognizes specific molecular patterns associated with pathogens, known as pathogen-associated molecular patterns, or PAMPs, or the products of a pathogen attack, such as cell wall fragments, SR is triggered. It's like an alarm bell that alerts the plant to the presence of an invader. But SAR doesn't stop at the site of infection. Oh no, it's systemic in nature. This means that once triggered, the resistance response spreads throughout the entire plant, providing protection to parts that were not directly exposed to the initial pathogen. It's as if the plant sends out a warning signal to all its parts, making sure every corner is prepared to fight off the disease. And the most impressive part? SR often leads to long-lasting protection. This enables the plant to resist subsequent infections by the same or related pathogens for an extended period. It's as if the plant has a memory of its past encounters, ready to defend itself swiftly and robustly upon meeting the same enemy again. This memory is part of what we call the priming phase. In this phase, the plant memorizes the initial exposure to the pathogen, allowing for a faster and more robust defense response upon subsequent encounters. And how does SAR orchestrate this complex defense mechanism? Through signal transduction, which is mediated by a complex signaling network involving various signaling molecules. These include salicylic acid, jasmonic acid, and ethylene. These signaling pathways work together to coordinate the plant's defense response. With the activation of SAR, plants synthesize defense-related proteins, antimicrobial compounds, and other molecules that contribute to their ability to fend off pathogens. The understanding of systemic acquired resistance has significant practical applications in agriculture. It forms the basis for developing strategies to enhance plant resistance to diseases without the need for chemical pesticides. Farmers may use SAR-inducing compounds or incorporate resistant plant varieties to improve crop protection. So, in summary, systemic acquired resistance is an inducible, systemic, long-lasting, and primed defense mechanism in plants. It involves complex signaling pathways and the production of defense-related molecules. This understanding can help us develop more sustainable and effective strategies for crop protection. The world of plant defense is indeed a fascinating one, filled with complexity and resilience. Remember, even the quietest of plants have a robust system ready to defend them against their enemies. Quite impressive, wouldn't you agree?